Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. of unanswered questions after a woman was killed last night on the H3 freeway. The suspect, according to Honolulu police, is her husband. HPD says they began receiving 911 calls shortly before 6.20 p.m. of a man stabbing a woman multiple times. Police say witnesses pulled over to try to help the woman and restrain the man who managed to get away but was eventually arrested by police. Male reportedly used the same knife that he was in possession of at the time of his arrest and injured himself. Based on investigation thus far, it has been determined that the victim and the male were married and have recently been going through marital problems. At the time of the incident, they were arguing before he stabbed her multiple times that caused her fatal injuries. As part of our investigation, detectives will be reviewing past cases, domestic violence cases that were documented as well as undocumented, as well as social media posts that we have been made aware of. The suspect was taken to the hospital where he remains in custody. Charges are pending. Jen Boniza spoke with the victim's family today and learned she was pregnant and had gone to help the suspect just hours before she was killed. <laughs> Her name is Dana Alutaidi. Her mother and sister say she had so much to live for and that she was planning to move back home to be with her family. She was planning to move to Virginia, back to Virginia, have the baby, buy a house. So she has plans. Nadine Cespedes says that her sister Dana and her husband, a Marine stationed at Kaneohe Marine Corps Base Hawaii, were separated. She didn't even live with him anymore. She was, she was living in a different apartment. Despite all that, Suspedes says Dana left a message Wednesday, just hours before she was killed, saying she was going to help her husband. He was telling her he didn't have a place to leave. That was the last time they heard from her. Until they got the call this morning, she was gone. My mom, she was, like, she couldn't believe nobody. I still can't believe it. So it's, it's very hard to speak for us to be sure she's not with us anymore. Dana's mother is devastated. Very hard for me. Stay here with my bread and blood. I need to move. I need to see my daughter. They're trying to fly back to Hawaii so they can take her body to Virginia. According to police, Dana was stabbed multiple times. It happened here on the H3 freeway going westbound. I'm told by police that the couple were arguing before they pulled over and that a number of drivers also pulled over right here to help. I was just shocked. I wasn't sure what to expect i was panicking chana celia poldo and her boyfriend were one of the first people who stopped to help the female and the male was was like fighting in between the guardrail and the four-door black sedan while well, he had her like in a headlock then he just was going like this so we thought he was punching her she says another guy who was there tried to stop the suspect he yes i guess he tackled him from the back i went to run to the truck grab a rope and then we tied his hands up and the girl got free. Leopoldo says several people were administering CPR to Dana. Police say she was pronounced dead around 8.30 p.m. Leopoldo says the incident was traumatic for her entire family. It was crazy, it was chaotic, I don't know. <laughs> Just too much to, to really take in. Jen Boniza Cage went to news, working for Hawaii.